One, two, three, four! Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, far the best of friends. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, fun that never ends. No matter what the weather, we sing out loud together. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, just like salt and pepper. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, have their fun one night. No matter what the weather, we sing out loud together. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Minding manners. Tidying up. to be a gentleman hippo. Oh, oh. oh careful. Like this. Oh. Hmm. It's like huh? a guide to life. Manners say we should begin with a tea party, so please make your way inside, sir. Ooh, cake! Manners! Gentleman Hippo, so we'll help him. Yeah, plus he's our best friend. If he said we should learn violin, I'd do it. And then this manners thing? Eh, okay. Following all the rules of good manners. First rule, wash your mm -hmm. hands. Mm -hmm. Second rule, have a great time. Do whatever you want. Woo -hoo! Hey, I, I want, want to slice. slice. I want to slice. <laughs> Please, madam, have a seat, won't you? Thank you. Want some of this tea? Thank you very much. I would love some. A pinch of sugar. Not too much. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Ted. <laughs> Hi, Tony. 
Tony. What are you doing? Hi, Tina. Well, I'm inventing. That is so cute. May I join? <laughs> this is against technology. No, it's not. Yes, it is. But it's you. Tina, stop. <laughs> I have to apologize. <laughs> Tina, it's me. Open the door. Uh, I forgot. Tina went to the woods. The woods? But it's late. What if she got lost? <laughs> Come on. She's just having a walk. She is your sister, Tim. We need to find her. Where are you going? Tina got lost. But she's behind you. I am Tim, her brother. <gasps> oh no, we can't find her. Disaster. Tim! Tim! Answer us! Ah, Tim, where are you going? I. I was going to bring up flashlights. Light my way, Tim. What are you up to, Tony? I'm going to climb to the top and light a signal fire. Tina will see it, you bet. Tony, but the tree is so high. Oh, where are you, Tony? It's all my fault. She went to the woods because I expelled her. I have to call her. It's so reckless, but so brave. Stop, Tony. Don't do it. I have to find Tina. I'm so sorry. Tina? Oh! Hey! Did you get out here? Curly, curly, please. 12 millimeter spanner. Thank you, Tina. Uh, uh, the candy shooter is ready. How's it works? Check this out. <laughs> One thing at a time. In you go. Whoa. Oops, mm -hmm. sorry. Hi, Tina. What's that smell? Hi. These? I felt like baking today. Jam tarts. You're busy? Aww. We wanted you to come play soccer with us. Soccer? Let's go. But the oven. Nah, the tarts will be fine. See? 40 minute time. That's plenty of time. Hey, Tony! What's that giant ladder for? Hey there, I'm getting apples. Mmm, that sounds great. I want some. Come along if you want. I need 
need someone to hold the ladder. Right behind you. Hang on! Hang on, wait! Our game's not done! I'll be back in no time. Plus, I'll bring apples for everyone. How's that sound? Apples! I want a bunch! Just hurry up! Back in a jiff! All right! Let's keep playing! Oh man, she took the ball! This is fun. All these apples would be good in a pie. Which reminds me... Oh, uh, the tarts! Oh, oh, oh. Come back! <sighs> oh, Tina. <sighs> Why did I say I could go play ball? <gasps> ball! They're still out there! Where is Tina? <sighs> there you are! We waited so long! Did you bring our ball back? Apples? Apples! The ball! <gasps> Tony! Tina, where are you going? Hey, uh, Tony! Up here. Hmm? Oh, dear. Ah! <sighs> oh, well. I'm stuck. The dangers of apple picking, I guess. Uh, don't worry, Tony. Uh, uh, I'll... Get another one. First, let me pick some of these up for the piglets. The piglets! Uh. Huh? Oh, it's five already? They're still out there now? Tina, we've been here all day, waiting for you. And you took our ball away! And you said you'd bring apples! Uh... Uh, apples? I I have those. Uh, wait here. <laughs> apples, apples, apples. Tony! Tony! I'm coming! Hang on! Hi, Tina. Did you bring the ladder? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, where are you going? What about soccer? How can we play soccer without a ball, Tina? I'll bring it real soon. Don't bother. It's time for dinner. <sighs> Tony! Ah! Oh. Ow. Uh, ah! Huh. Oh. Tony, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's been with you today? You're all over the place. Well, first my baking went wrong, then the apple. So much to do, and this ladder, I felt so overwhelmed. You can't do everything at once. Focus on one thing at a time. You'll get everything done. <laughs> nice. Hey! <laughs> Come play soccer! Yay! <coughs> huh? Um... You guys go on. We're having jam tarts. Would you like some? We also have tea. I would! I love jam tarts! Yay! <laughs> this is good! The Three Little Pigs. Wowie! Stop! Stop! There sure is. If it weren't for Spring Clean, even I wouldn't know how many unnecessary things I have. A video camera? You don't need this either? Out with the old junk. Ouch! <laughs> Please stop. I've just finished tidying. <laughs> Tony, we should make a movie about the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. But there are no wolves in Cookie Village. We'll hold auditions and find someone who can play the wolf. Introduce yourself, please. It's me, Bear. Are you prepared to play the wolf? Well... Try and growl a little. <laughs> Thank you. We'll call you. What? A wolf? Where? Ah! Ah! Can you growl? <laughs> <sighs> Turn 
turns out it's not so easy to find a wolf. You can say that again, Tina. Hang on. Tony, you'd make a perfect wolf. You just need a tail tacked on. Who, me? No, I. Try growling. Grr. <coughs> you have potential. Let's start filming. Tony, keep rehearsing. Find your inner wolf. <sighs> Has the wolf left? <sighs> I am the wolf now, friend. Huh. You don't say. Grr, grr, grr. Love to howl at the moon. Hmm. Oh. 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 Sometimes, right, Tony? <laughs> Getting cold feet. What? 
Wouldn't it be fun to make a snowman? No way. Not as much fun as skiing. ourselves. What's next? Next, we should teach her everything we know. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Energy is stored in electrons. Only plant cells have a cell wall. They also have chlorophyll. Oh. Hmm? Planty! Try and behave yourself. Oh. I know what's wrong. Planty thinks this is boring. She needs hobbies. <clears throat> Planty, look. Maybe one day you can do this. Done. It's hopeless. 
Lilith's trying to teach a thorny plant manners. You know, I was thinking about it. Maybe she doesn't need to be taught. But what happens when she grows up? Plant D will still be our favorite little plant. We raised her well after all, right? Tina, are we sure about this? One of her mixed upbringings sets her apart. I'm not worried at all. Planty knows what makes her special. Over your way, miss. Thank you, Sir Gentle Hippo. Ugh. Oh, wow! Now they're all fancy, just like our little Planty. We raised her to be a good role model. Good job, Planty! Thank you, Planty! Oh, my Planty. I'm super extra proud. Fuzzy bug! Tony, feel free to join in. I'm no dancer, uh -huh. Tina. If bugs can do uh -uh. it, then so can you. Now we need to make sure everyone knows about the bugs. Tina's in. Tony, too. <laughs> to introduce my new friend, Buzzy Bug. She taught me a really cute dance. <laughs> Get ready. There are bugs in every bush. There are bugs in every bush. And their feelers go whoosh whoosh. And their feelers go whoosh whoosh. Climb a stop to catch a glance. Climb a stop to catch a glance. Of their dance, the Buzzy Dance. Of their dance, the Buzzy Dance. Watch them whirl.
Fuzzy Bug Dance, Tony. It's great, Tina. It was actually quite easy. Huh? Huh? Oh. There are bugs in every bush. Wow! Yeah! Dance! That was fun! Don't thank me, thank her. The fuzzy bug. Just because you don't notice someone doesn't mean they're boring. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Even bugs have something to teach us. That's right. Bye bye, 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 bye. A mysterious voice. Here. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Good morning. Hi, rabbits. Morning. Hi. 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 Hello. Right on time. One basket fresh from the ground. Danny and Felicia are going to see the rainbow flowers. What? Danny, Felicia, stop! Huh? Why won't you listen to me? Those caves are dangerous. Stay away. Time to go home now. That's right. Hurry up now. Hear that? Interesting. Yeah, we got free carrots. Rainbow flowers, you said. Have you seen them? No, wait. Didn't he say it was dangerous? Now he's made me curious. We'll go real quick, and then we'll go home. This must be the place. What lovely flowers. Well, sounds good. <laughs> Let's go home. Home, 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 home. Who said that? Hey! Did you hear that? Hello? Did one of the rabbits run in? <laughs> You should go home. <gasps> what if that poor rabbit is lost? We should go help but them. But shouldn't we first go into a terrace? That seems safer. I think you're being a scaredy hippo. Going into a cave is dangerous. We should go get help. See? They do need our help. Let's go. It's empty. But I know I heard a voice. Hey! Now it's on the other side. Which way should we go from here? You go that way. I'll go that way. This way we'll find him for sure. <sighs> Tony! Where are you? Who's that? carrots because I was scared. That's stuff. okay, because that's how I found you. <laughs> hey, look! Huh? A vine! It leads out of the cave! <laughs> Careful! <sighs> nope. We're really stuck. You know, I might have an idea. Hmm? Huh? <gasps> Tina! No! Oh, Tony, what's wrong? This last carrot is our ticket out of here. Huh? Hey, what are you doing with that flower? Here we go. Last carrot of the season. What's huh? that? <gasps> Look at this nice hmm. flower. I want to smell out of the sky. So cool. Where is that from? Where is that from? <sighs> Someone's there? Oh, no! <laughs> Nanny, Danny, Lenny, Penny, Benny, Sammy, Joe, and Felicia. And that's it, all here. Then who's that stuck in the cave? Who are you? Huh? Me? That's just an echo. You can hear it in big spaces repeating what you say. Cool! Pizza! <laughs> I'd like to eat straw! Who wants some carrot cake? Yeah! A not so still life. <laughs> All done. Wait, what? Is this supposed to?
supposed to be me? Since when do I have 12 arms? That's only six at most. Well, fine. But you kept moving around. I know. Hm. How about we stop drawing portraits and instead do landscapes? Oh, okay. <laughs> What's that? A landscape just means we paint the outside. Why do we need to go to a tree to draw? Ugh. I remember how trees look. I'll imagine a tree, like that one. Or like that one. Any imaginary tree. That's not the point, Tina. These drawings aren't supposed to be imaginary. Landscapes are drawing what's real. Trees are the perfect thing to draw. They're still. They won't move around while you draw. It's great, huh? So which of these trees will be our subject? Maybe a pine tree, or an oak, or... Huh? The an apple, apple tree! tree. So, how does one start these, uh, landscapes? It's simple. Just paint exactly what you see. Hmm. Ah. First you paint the branches, then the leaves, and under those tasty apples. Make sure to get the bark stripey. Oh, what's that? What are you doing? What does it look like? I made a bear. What's a bear doing there? Nothing. He's having a good time. I mean, why did you draw a bear? He told me to draw what I see. And over there, I happen to see a bear. Ugh! Am I supposed to draw the ice cream penguin too now? Actually, both of my subjects are leaving. Now there's nobody to draw. That's why you should draw just nature and trees. They never go anywhere at all. They always stay in one place. You forgot that nature also has very bouncy rabbits. Look at them, huh? Bird ball. Oh, look. There goes the rest of the apples. <laughs> Did you at least manage to draw the apples while they were still on? Yep. Now I have to erase them. What a pain to do. I'm not finished yet. I wasn't trying to look anyway. So now that the apples are inside the bear, how do what? I draw them? You don't. I told you. Only draw what you see. I see rabbits having a really bad day. That's just heartbreaking. Focus on your painting. Hey, Bear's back. He brought the ice cream with him. I'm not even going to try drawing the ice cream. That'll disappear immediately. Huh? Now the penguin disappeared, too. This is turning out to be a very interesting subject. <laughs> Whatever Bear is doing, it looks like fun, right? Well, there they go. Now to focus. This tree just needs a few finishing touches on the branches, and we'll be all... Hey! What's going on? Huh? Huh? Phew. All done. You're done? Show me. Well, it's not very realistic, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Not all landscapes can be as realistic as mine what is. on earth? Where's the tree? Didn't have room for it. No big deal. Nature is tough. Next time we'll try Impressionism. The Snowflake Maker. Wintry, wintry, winter. <sighs> this is one heavy sled. Sledding? Snow? Hooray! There's snow? No Foxy, no snow so far. Maybe the snow decided to take a vacation ah. in Africa. Or it forgot about us. Or it got stuck somewhere on the way. Stuck? Huh. Somebody help! I'm stuck! Hear that? That's the snow! Quick, let's go! That's not the 
snow, Tina. Help! That's a little rabbit. Help! My letter! What kind of letter is this? It's for the snowflake maker in the sky, so he'll make us some snow. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's how come we don't have snow. It's the snowflake maker's fault. I bet the snowflake maker has already designed a thousand million snowflakes for all these winters, and now he's run out of inspiration. Well, we have plenty of inspiration. We can share. Huh? We're going to send the snowflake maker a whole letter full of inspiration. And he'll send us back snow! Ta-da! Aha! Oh, I know how! Let me! Check my snowflake out! Well, check this one out! There's snow coming out of your chimney. That's because we're writing a letter. To the snowflake maker. To inspire him. You can write two if you want. To help him make more snow. <laughs> hey, penguin. Pretty long. Mr. Mail Rabbit. That's me. Please mail our letter to the Snowflake Maker. It's on its way. Dear Snowflake Maker, please make us a lot of snow. than book entertainment. Then you cook the food for the party, dress up fancy. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. <laughs> what are you doing? Putting on my party clothes. <clears throat> but the list has a lot before that one. Whatever. Who wrote that anyways? Someone not very fun. An expert on throwing parties. Whoever they are, they don't know a thing about being fancy. Hmm. Step one, invitations. Now, step two. I'll go put up the lights and decorations if you deliver those invitations. Oh, man. Why do I have to be the one running around all over the place? You hang them, then, as long as we stick to the plan. I don't even like these lights. We should deck 
decorate a different way. Uh, uh. Hmm? Aha. Hmm? What are you doing? <sighs> I decided we're gonna do a pool party instead. But that's not part of the plan we had. Who needs plans anyways? On to the next thing. We'll rehearse our big dance. Oh, we should probably choreograph it first. But this isn't part of the plan. <laughs> well, we're no dancers. It's fine. We'll just sing. Uh, we're singing? What for? Hey, magic! We'll perform magic instead. Let's go, get in. Uh, don't think I have the time. And, you know, I gotta go bake the pies. You can roll the dough for crust while I go get the filling. It's really good. It'll make a great pie. Please don't tell me you ate it. Oh, Tony, my bad. I didn't mean to. None of this was in the plan. None. Maybe we just need a better plan. The plan wasn't the problem. It's that you didn't follow it. <sighs> I guess it's time to get dressed. It's party time. <laughs> huh? I'm a mess. Hi, Tony! <coughs> Sorry, we tried our best, but, uh, you see... All right! It's a real mud puddle! Ooh, the best kind! <laughs> Looks delicious! I do love a good puzzle. Party time! Hooray! Awesome! <laughs> we went off the plan. But this is still fun, huh? That's the best way to throw a party. Fun's the only thing you need, Tony. <laughs> the time machine! Hi, Tony! What are you doing? This is the invention the world has been dreaming of. Awesome! But what's it for? For time traveling. I'm gonna climb in and go way back in the past. Way back in the past. Uh. Tony, maybe you should forget about it. I mean, what is there to do in the past? There's nothing wrong with being here. Tina, what are you talking about? There's so much to do there. You can paint caves, make spears and necklaces, fill the time using the sun, Dance ancient dances? Hmm? All set. Goodbye, Tina. Onward! Uh, I mean, backward, into the past. Tony, what about me? Wait for me here. Three, two, one, lift off! Tony, you're back already! No, Tina, something went wrong. Oh no, it's broken. That's good. You can stay here with us. Tina, you don't understand it all. <sighs> oh, I do, Tony. Hmm. Tony, Tony! The machine is working. That's impossible. I tried everything. Well, it worked for me. I went to the past. You won't believe what it's like. Come on. Tina, is it? <sighs> Tony, too. Travel, Tony. Three, two, one. See, Tina, I told you so. Ah! Tina? Piglets? What's going on? Whoa! I am Chinchina, the mammoth, and these are the saber-toothed piglets. Ah! Welcome to Stone Cookie Village. I'm in the past, and my machine works? <laughs> Where are you off to, visitor from the future? I want to find a prehistoric hippo. Well, I'm a hippo. Huh? 
I'm just not very big yet. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was nice to meet you, Mr. Guest, or you'd best be getting home. I did really want to paint some caves. Uh... <laughs> now, what should I leave behind for the future? What are you all do? Ah! Huh? Hmm. <laughs> I never thought I'd see a pterodactyl. The sun is so high in the sky. You must be getting home, Mr. Guest from the future. Yeah, but I did really want to learn how to make spears and beads. Oh. And prehistoric fishing and prehistoric singing? I want a cave of my own, too. All right, I'm staying in your time. <gasps> Tony, tell us about Cookie Village in the future. What's it like? In the future, we have yummy ice cream, plus bicycles and pies. Also, science and computers, and friends. And, oh no, Tina's there. I've stayed here too long. Goodbye, new friends. <laughs> <laughs> Tina! Tina, Piglets! You won't believe what I've seen! Hey, so it was all pretend? I'm sorry, Tony. You wanted it so bad. I was just trying to make you happy. So you... you got up to all that? For me? Thanks, friends! That was awesome! Hello! Can anybody tell me if I got the part? <laughs> magic! XYZ magic! <laughs> Bravo, great magician Tony! There's no need to thank me! XYZ magic! <laughs> Like someone said, there's no such thing as magic. I can't believe my ears. Felicia, do you really not believe in magic? Well, I... Tony is having a show this evening. Me? There'll be tons of magic there. Come and see. Hmm. When Tony's in, Tina is too. Tina... Do you think I'm ready to put on a whole show? Of course you're ready. I'm here to help you. What do you got there? Ah! 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 So when is the show gonna start? Pretty soon. Huh. I'll never sweep all this up. Tony, you know what I was thinking? Maybe instead of making glitter come out of the hat? What then? Ribbons? What if we... pull out... I know! A rabbit! A rabbit? That will be original. Yes! Now number two! We're starting soon! Okay. So you climb in here and sit still. When Tina says XYZ magic, you peek out of the hat as if you just appeared. Got it? Yup! Wait, what does that mean? Well, you're actually going to be hiding here the whole time. But the audience will think that you appeared out of nowhere. And they'll be surprised. So we're... lying to them? We're not lying at all. It's a trick. It's a lie, and I won't be a part of it. Tina, this is a disaster. No, it's not. We just need to trade our rabbit back for the glitter. Quick! I won't be part of it! <laughs> 